it's Ripper Jack here from Final Regiment. That's right, the most awesomest clan in the world. Final Regiment, this is Ripper Jack. I'm about to attack. And dang, I don't have any witches, bitches. Okay, apparently I'm being detained. Oh, okay, they're gone. I'm being detained for uh, investigation. What crime do you suspect me of committing? What crime do you suspect me of committing? Lots of people are wondering these days, who is Ripper Jack? Ripper Jack Gaming, Ripper Jack Media. Well, his real name is John Lauren Smith. And what we know about John Smith is that after he watched Tiger King, the original, uh, he contacted the family of Don Lewis and then started a Facebook group, which became quite popular. They exchanged, obtained and exchanged information. In a text message dated April 12, 2020, uh, Ripper Jack claims he called Carol Baskin's personal voicemail yesterday and left her a message playing dumb, LOL. I said, I watch your videos, but there's a guy named Ripper Jack Gaming that has a piece of paper of yours and saying bad things about you on YouTube. Ha ha. So one of Mr. Smith's first actions was actually to call Carol Baskin and taunt her and reference himself as if she should be afraid of him. He then goes on to say that he had a 90-minute interview with Rebecca, Rebecca Shakelin, one of the producers of Tiger King. He said Shakelin was pretty impressed with the work of the group she sent one of the co-producers to join. As things progress, Ripper Jack Media had a bit of a falling out with his group. This started around July. In July of 2020, he wrote his friends, full disclosure, I got an email from Rebecca and her Article 19 company wanting to use my clips, his YouTube videos he was recording. She's asking for me to sign a release to release my videos I've made to her. I also made videos that I don't publish on the channel, normally before and after a meeting or after a long day. I told her they could use them. I don't mind, but she responded that they would want to send over an offer for a clip release agreement. I'm on the fence about it, sort of, Mr. Smith said. I have a lot of footage. After several months, Don Lewis's family searched for and hired an attorney. Mr. Smith privately messaged about the role of that attorney. He said to his group, I can love that family and at the same time want the Facebook group to get credit for solving the case. And on top of that, I can also want the four of us to be set for life solving the case. I can want all of those things and it doesn't matter. Because I want all of those things doesn't mean I care any less. I care for the case any less. I would love for us to solve it and get each of us and our kids set for life while we continue to help people who need help. There's not anything wrong with wanting all of that. And like I said, it doesn't mean we are working on the case for the wrong reasons. I know why the three of you have been working on cases and it's for the right reasons, same as me. Like I said, I would love for the four of us to be able to do this on a bigger level without the scr struggles of scraping by and being limited. Like I said, it doesn't mean we aren't doing it for the wrong reasons. It's just an opportunity for us to help more people if it could happen. This is just my opinion on things. And of course, my opinion isn't anything but mine. And if anyone disagrees, of course, I'm fine with that too. But because everyone can have their own opinion, that's all. I didn't mean to upset you. If I did, maybe you have misunderstood my intention. Regardless, you three are my peoples. At a point, the relationship between the client, Don Lewis's daughters, particularly Donna Pettis, uh, and Mr. Smith, the Facebook investigator, and the attorney, me, John Phillips, uh, became conflicted. Mr. Smith was messaging his friends behind Ms. Pettis and Mr. Phillips back. 
he said. Donna said, John said, when Ripper gets here next week, I'll get his information and have this thing solved. Someone responded. He may have more cred pull with the legal system than some of our armchairs do, Mr. Smith replied. I'm telling you, we need to be careful. When we solve this, they'll make a movie about us four. It needs to be about us four, not anyone else taking credit for our work and our group. Donna is very, very nice, Mr. Smith said, and gullible. And if she is warning me, then she knows a lot more than she's telling me. One of his friends said, I respectfully disagree. This is not about us, but about Don. I don't give it a shit about Netflix, Tiger King 2, or a show. If that happens, fine. But this is about solving Don's disappearance. Mr. Smith responded, And we can disagree, of course, but people taking credit for our work isn't fair. There was some talk in the core group about me having some big TV deal or whatever. I hope this stays with us three, but yeah, I am being totally blown off here in Tampa. Not by the family, of course, or by Anne or anyone. Um, Definitely being blown off by Ripper. Um... I've got some weird, weird, weird vibes going on. And I was told today from a couple of people that they fully believe that Netflix and Rebecca are 100% using Ripper to get interviews with people that they have burned their bridges with. Um, There are people that have spoken that think that Rebecca, Netflix will totally flip, you know, the series. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't really see how they could when we've done all the work. And here's what I said. I'll just put this out there because this is how I feel. And I want to make sure you all understand why I've said certain things. I can love that family and at the same time want the Facebook group to get credit for solving the case. So I'm I'm supposed to whip up an email later for Donna, but I'm going to ask Donna about it. And I'm going to get to the bottom of this because I am not going to be played for a fool and I am not going to be fucked over for nobody. I'm I'm just not going to be duped. It's just not right. I'm just I'm I'm so salty about it. And on top of that, I can also want the four of us to be set for life for solving the case. I can want all of those things and it doesn't matter because what I want all of those things, sorry, because I want all of those things doesn't mean I care for the case any less. Because this isn't just a ripper thing. This is a us four thing. And, you know, we're not all sitting on 65 acres. And if an opportunity came for some of us to make some money while we're doing this work, like, Why would you not discuss that with us? So, I mean, I got issues, but I don't have any issues that would, you know, break up the band or anything. Um, And I was pretty, like, there was one day while I was down there where I got attitude with him because anytime I'd go to talk or say anything, he would, like, cut me off or basically tell me what I can and can't talk about. And I'm like, we're with the family. Like, I'm not, I'm not keeping secrets from the family. Then I said, I would love for us to solve it and get each of us and all our kids set for life while we continue to help people who need help. There's not anything wrong with wanting all of that. And like I said, it doesn't mean we are working on the case for the wrong reasons. I know why the three of you have been working. Let us find out we've done all the work and all the research and he's over there getting paid under the table by Rebecca. I will fucking burn them down, I swear to God. I know why the three of you have been working on cases, and it's for the right reasons, same as me. Like I said, I would love for the four of us to be able to do this on a bigger level without the struggles of scraping by and being limited. But anyways, um, yeah, I've learned some things today that I didn't know, that we don't know. Even though this is our fucking group and it's supposed to be the four of us as a goddamn team, I'm fucking furious right now. I'll just say that. Like I said, it doesn't mean we aren't doing it for the wrong reasons. It's just an opportunity for us to help a lot more people 
if it could happen. But saying that last part about the, well, I'm just going to do like I did the Avery case and walk away from all this. Well, okay, that's fine. I mean, if you want to pull some fucking Britney ass bullshit, go ahead. I mean, if you want to do that to the family, go ahead. I'm not down with that. I'm not doing that. But at the same time, I'm also not out here worried about what the fuck Netflix is looking at what I say. I get that things are going on or whatever and he keeps claiming that we're gonna get a a, you know a deal out of this a show and all that I've seen nothing to support that or whatever and my thing is is like I'm not getting paid by nobody I'm gonna be me and that's it if you don't like me uh keep it moving because I've been me since I joined this community and I'm gonna be me like throughout the duration I'm not changing so But that's not what I said at all. But that's what they're saying. They've said, well, he he already told us in a private chat that he wanted a big TV deal when this was all over. Well, that's not what I said. What I said is the four of us. And I've told people, I've told producers that have called me, when this is done, I said, if anybody makes me any offers, I said, my people, my inner core people and some of these outer core, inner core people are going to have to be involved. So they're going to have to be set up too. Now, someone's taken that and they've told somebody that I've said I wanted a big TV deal. I think I got salty too yesterday because when we drove out to Kenny's and I was in the back seat with Rebecca riding out there because it was two hours away to Orlando. Um, I was talking about Tammy Raynon, Roy Non, whose dad owned that truck uh, car sales place right next to the shop or the office. And I said, yeah, but I think she's money hungry because I told her that Crime Stoppers was the only one that had a a reward or whatever. And then Rebecca just was like, oh my gosh, what do y'all think about a reward? So she was asking me if I could literally call Kathleen Zellner and ask how she set it up for Steven and all this. And Ripper was too. And I was about to call her and she was like, wait. And so we sat there for a good couple hours and they're going to put up a reward. Billboards have gone up in the Tampa area that say who murdered Don Lewis. $100,000 reward and there's a number for the tip line I'll, I'll take some pictures of one of the billboards later and I'll post it on this channel also if you didn't notice on Friday there was an announcement by a law firm there's an attorney by the name of John Phillips who has decided to represent sweet sweet and McQueen and the three daughters of Don Lewis All you got to do is uh, go on YouTube and look up John Phillips attorney and it'll be the first video on there. And then there's other videos you can watch about him as well. He's a high profile attorney. He's a good guy. He has a heart. And that's exactly what this family needs. Do I think it's solved? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We have everything needed. One other thing that we know is there's never been transparency about the reward, the $100,000 reward. There's never been transparency as to who's paying it or what's required to collect it. I asked and was never told. What we do know is Tiger King producers made in excess of $10 million selling this film to Netflix. What we do know is Eric Good, Rebecca Shakelin, and the other producers created something called a documentary that didn't document facts as much as it created them or hid them. What we also know is that the Tiger King producers were very good about pretending they were paying licensing fees or providing cell phones for camera usage, but really were paying for people to play in their motion picture. What Mr. Smith doesn't understand is you don't get set for life financially by elbowing people with more experience out of the way. 
Of course, as he notes in his video, he also claims he has Don Lewis's case solved. Well, why is that? Why would he lie? Mr. Smith lies about quite a bit. He says in one post, like I've said in my videos, no TV deals. Nobody is paying me unless you count my YouTube ads. But those were there long before the case started. As Donna said in my comments of my video the other day, the family has been working with Netflix for three years now, and they are very appreciative of the exposure they have brought to her dad's case. During my very brief time with the family, we pointed out that only Netflix, Tiger King, Eric Good. Rebecca Shakelin were trying to dig up Don Lewis's sordid past, trying to make him look bad. Why? Because ultimately Tiger King was going to Tiger King. It's not a real documentary. It's a sensational mess. But that sensational mess was paying licensing fees and binding people to contracts. Common sense existed within Mr. Smith's group. However, sometimes it was fleeting. His ally, Nosy Wren, once said, you've got this. Donna is Ripper's puppet, and he is Rebecca's puppet, Lost Causes. While shooting stories which may make her dad seem like a predator and mobster, while selling it as justice, I said. So I've been learning. I didn't trust Rebecca from when I met her in June, she didn't like the fact she could buy me off to be on camera. I have other cases that rely on my identity staying unknown, and she couldn't have cared less about that. That's why she snubbed me in August. She thought that giving me a $2,000 iPhone would help encourage me to play along. So guess who got the new iPhone for nothing? Yeah, I know all about that, and um, I can't even begin to explain <laughs> the level of what uh, my favorite woman attorney out there, Kathleen Zellner, says is silent rage. Uh, we did not agree with it. I am so glad Anne did not fall for the BS. Uh, Tina and myself, we personally reached out to Donna and we explained everything that had come to light. But um, she did not agree with us and um, she supports Ripper. So I was like, okay, well, you know, that's you. So whatever, we're still gonna help, you know, figure out what happened to Don. Um, but yeah, I'll never forget this either. I, I thought he was my friend and yeah, I thought we were friends. But like everything with Tiger King, it gets far, far worse. In messages sent to us, we saw he wanted me to stay with him, but I was like, fuck no, especially after he offered me coke. I take great offense to people offering me drugs, but do you fucking assume I'm down with that shit? Supposedly that's from Nosy back in September. I'm afraid Rebecca has caught Ripper on video doing things I know he was doing with Daniel, the cameraman, and I think she will put it in season two. This dude eats Kratom, like his, I mean, I know he's in pain and he does have a pretty bad hit, but he, that's gotta be an expensive thing for him because he takes that Kratom like no other. Um, so I don't know. And what's weird is me being here, like as soon as we're done for the day, we go our separate ways. Like I ain't been hanging out with him. He's been going, hanging out with Rebecca and them at their hotel and, I'm like, see, that's how the fuck you're going to get caught up on camera because they've been getting drunk every night and I'm sure doing some other extracurricular activities. Um, but yeah, I'm not down with that shit, so I've been doing my own thing. Is it true? Does it even matter? The fact that statements could be made about someone doing cocaine with a film crew is absolutely outrageous. They want to actually talk to the family lawyer. They want to talk to somebody real, not that sits in a gaming chair and makes YouTube videos. I'd like to say everything worked out for the best, but I don't know that it will because I don't trust him.